the distribution process has changed a lot based on the medium in which people are now buying products and shipping products. Domestically, we see a lot of packages coming in through e-commerce that we have to accommodate for. The post office is doing the same thing with their package mail. This is a very revenue-oriented mail class for them. As far as National Geographic Magazine is concerned, we've done a lot of changes in the international distribution side where we do direct induction into a country via containers on vessels. Uh, here in the States, we try to co-mail our magazines with other mailers so that we can get higher densities and better pre-sorts. All of it is starts out to be cost related to see how we can blend the different mailing aspects together. And we've been fairly successful in doing so, been able to remain competitive and a ROI that's comparable to all the magazines in the industry, I would have to say.